So this is what it sounds like. Lots of stuff in the ground. Town property that was once an old farm. Two fancy Victorian spoons. Wow. Oh cool, it's a button. So here's an interesting find. Well hole, lipped. Wow, no wonder why it was an 83. Well, hey everybody. Dame and myself today are on a piece of town property that was once an old farm. 1700s, 1800s, and the side that we're on was old pasture, maybe field, not too sure. Might be a cellar hole out back, but we're going to do some detecting and a little easy hiking today. Compared to what we've done recently, this is effortless. A walk in the park. Right, there you go. Yeah. But we say that now in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything could happen. Bear cans, I can see them already. Yep. All right, so Dame's chasing a 48. I have dug one pull tab, one shotgun shell, and I have this crazy signal. It's a chunk of highly signalless material. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, it's got writing on it. It looks like something. Made. All right, so it's not just a piece of slag. Oh, don't do it. No. Look at that. That is a little fancy up here. This is like early 1800s. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I'm surprised, uh, actually, for a spoon that large, it only rang up 48. Yeah, it was, uh, and it was quiet, too, and I was right on it. Awesome. It was kind of deep. So this is pretty much what we're dealing with back here. We're running into places of shifted ground, pockets of iron, but definitely cultivated land. It's good. Wow, micro buckle. Tiny little shoe buckly looking thing. It's even <laughs> pinned in the middle. Right. Well, it could have come off a watch or yeah. something, but nice. Yeah. There's relics out here. No doubt. So here's an interesting find. Well hole. Lipped. Rocks out on the outer edge. And uh, kind of an odd place for it, but... Again, we are picking up Iron Dame's spoon was up there. You just never know with this old ground. Somebody could have settled this lot in the mid-1800s not knowing that somebody was here out in this property a hundred years before them and you just don't dig a well unless you plan on, you know, putting your stakes in the ground. Interesting. Got a mid-tone and it's part of some suspender setup. Very good. Alright, well, there's definitely a concentration in this one little part of the forest. So this is what it sounds like. Lots of stuff in the ground. And Dame has a good signal. Right yeah. here. Sort of. Oh boy. 77. Is that a button? No, it's a coin. It's, is it a Lincoln? Uh, it looks a little thick. Looks Indian head. Uh, uh, there's Lincoln. So it's probably a wheat. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had high hopes for him. Like, yeah, Indian, Indian. Maybe yeah. a wheat. <laughs> oh, well. Little piece of toe tap. Yes, it is. Very good, Dame. Ah, <laughs> oh, they are just... After those, that rain, they are ready to party. Yeah. Well, this is interesting down here. It is. It's, uh... There was, there was somebody living down here. Yeah. 
Certainly. So we're walking around and preparing to go into the the next square and Dame just shouts out. Spoon! Oh, beautiful. <laughs> wow. That looks like it's from the same set. Yeah. What do you know? Left-handed. Oh, yep. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Two fancy Victorian spoons. Cool. And it was not, again, it was not a fantastic signal. No, I thought you were going to take a shotgun shell. Yeah. 53, you know. I just got a signal in the top soil here and kicked this out. I don't know if it's something or just melted something, but it's got lots of shapes to it. What you got? Ah, in between the beer cans? Yeah. Curry comb. Oh, wow, very cool. Yeah. yeah, we have definitely entered into Hangout Central, but there's old stuff mixed amongst the yes. new stuff. All right, well, on my way over to see you, I just tripped over a yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll good go. signal, but it sounds deep, so it could be anything. Yep. Yep. Half a Budweiser can, and yet the relics from the 1800s were like an inch deep. <laughs> That's all right. Here we go. Bear can signal, right? Oh, very cool. I've dug one of these before. And this is great because I am a fan of flashlights. That's the tail end, tail cap, for the battery compartment of an old school Ever Ready flashlight. That is awesome. And actually, the other one I dug was in the yard at the museum. So that's a very cool find. You guys know I do flashlight reviews, so I like flashlights. All right, I think we're gonna find some very interesting stuff over here, because listen. The place is loaded because the parking area is right there. There was a home site across the way, and stuff was just getting thrown in here for a long time. I'm assuming it's some type of lock, lock mechanism. Some heavy duty brass right there though. Spoonage. Beautiful. Wow, shining right up. I no idea what that's from. Nice to hear 8485 though. My eyes just caught that. Oh cool, it's a button. Ceramic. I knew I'd get my button for the day. Dame has returned from his side of the orbit. Look at this brassy thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think I heard you swinging at that like a half a mile away. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, this thing, it's got a little. It's flat, but then it's uh, reeded. Is it a valve stem? I don't think so. For a truck. I think it is. Oh, this would be the yes. side. Yeah, big wheel. Yeah. Stuff! Oh, there's plenty of stuff here, there's no doubt. They fit together. Cool. Dame's got an 83 up against the wall here. 83? Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Did it feel big? Uh, it was, you know, reading high off the ground, but you know, we've all had good stuff that did that too. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cap! <laughs> that, uh... that is awesome! Yep. Spigot, tap. You know what I mean. 
Wow, no wonder why it was an 83. You got text? Yep. Frank Jones and Company. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. And large. And large. What is that, Jiffy Pop? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> it's extremely lightweight. It is sort of like Jiffy Pop. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I don't know. Didn't film the signal because it was jumpy. The inside of a uh, pocket watch. Cool. Yeah. Some gears and everything still on there. Oh, nice. Cool. I haven't dug watch parts in a long time. Well, that's it for us for our different kind of dig day. It was very cool to work these two squares, find some old relics down there, and a well, which was odd, and then work up here where the 1900 stuff was percolating. Yeah, just all through the soil. So you're picking through modern beer cans at 14 inches and then finding something cool close to the surface. Yeah. After some of the hikes we've had uh, recently finding, looking for cellar holes, it was nice to just pull up, park, get out, not wear a backpack for a bit. And... Yeah, just dig, get dirty in the dirt, and find cool things. Yeah, do some metal detecting. Yeah. Right. So I hope you enjoyed it. We will see you soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>